Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about reproduction. This baby panda with mom looks so adorable. Shh, they're resting now. Be careful, buddy. This is a newborn cub. Panda moms give birth to their young ones, just like most mammals do. There are three ways that mammals give birth. Laying eggs, birthing at an early stage of development, and birthing fully developed offspring. Reproduction is a biological process by which an organism reproduces an offspring who is biologically similar to that organism. It activates the continuity of species, generation after generation. There are two main types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Let's learn about these one by one. Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction that does not entail the union of gametes or the sex cells. There are four main types of asexual reproduction. Binary fission. The cell splits into two. Each cell carries a copy of the DNA from the parent cell. Example, amoeba. Budding. A small bud-like outgrowth gives rise to a new individual. The outgrowth remains attached to the organism until it's fully developed. Then, it detaches itself and lives as an individual organism. Example, hydra. Fragmentation. The parent organism splits into several parts and each part grows into a new individual. Example, planaria. Sporogenesis. In this type of reproduction, a new entity grows from the spores of certain leaves. See, this mountain beaver is happily playing with the fern leaves. The spore bags are located on the backs of the leaf. These are sorus, the groups of sporangia which contain spores, and here, these are spores which are further used in reproduction of plant-like ferns. Sexual reproduction. It is the production of new organisms by the uniting of genetic information of two individuals of different sexes. Let's have a look at the different stages of sexual reproduction. Pre-fertilization. This stage entails the events prior to fertilization. Gamete formation or gametogenesis and transfer of gamete are the two processes that take place during pre-fertilization. Fertilization. Once the haploid male and female gametes meet and fuse together to form a zygote, this is called fertilization. Post-fertilization. Fertilization results in the formation of diploid zygote. The zygote divides mitotically and grows as an embryo. This process is known as embryogenesis. During this process, cell differentiates and modifies accordingly. Development of zygote depends completely on the organism and its life cycle. Animals are sorted into oviparous and viviparous based on whether the zygote develops outside or inside the body respectively. In angiosperms, the zygote evolves into the ovary and ovary transforms into the fruit, while ovules grow into seeds. Now, you know a lot about reproduction. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.